We got our ceiling done. We use quarter inch white cedar tongue and groove planks. Uh, we adhered it using liquid nails and then just to hold it in place till the adhesive dries, we use brad nails. Uh, except over here, there was so much tension on these boards here that really sort of arced down that it was actually pulling those brad nails out. So we ended up using screws across here and we've already started filling in those holes a little bit, which I think it looks all right. Uh, we did make a change. I don't know if you noticed in a previous video, we had a beam that went across this bulkhead wall. It was a little wider than that. And we put a more narrow one so that this wasn't quite as drastic a slope across the ceiling here. And it also reduced the tension that was on the beams, the planks a little bit. Uh, and I just, I think it looks better. We're gonna have a piece of trim molding that runs across here and kind of hides those seams a little bit. Uh, after we did that, we put in the fans flanges and that was easy. We just cut them to size using a utility knife and we installed the lights. The lights didn't come in the color I wanted, which was silver. So I ended up painting those with a high heat silver paint. The lights are five and three quarter inch diameter. Um, they're 4,500K, 720 lumen, and we got them in the neutral white. They're connected in sets of four. There's two sets of four. One set's in the back, one's in the front, and they're each set is on a three-way dimmer switch. Eight lights is more than we'll ever need. So we can control the lighting in here that way a lot easier. Installing them, we had to use a five and quarter inch hole saw and that got a little rough. You can't see it here, but underneath there, those edges are not real smooth, but it looks good. The way it is, nobody will ever know except you guys. <laughs> um, we're happy with it. After we installed the lights, Kevin built me this countertop. I'll let him tell you how he built it. So I started out with two inch by six inch by eight foot pine. Um, just regular um, kiln dried pine lumber that we got from Home Depot and cut it down to six foot so it was easier to work with on the jointer and I ran two edges through a jointer. Um, that makes one edge flat and the other side 90 degrees from that. And then I ran it through the table saw to cut it to width. I cut them, they actually start out at about five and a half inches. I cut them once I got um, two sides jointed, I cut it to about um, five and a quarter inches and then ran it through a planer and then used a biscuit joiner and um, put all the biscuit joints in and then edge joined them together with wood glue and clamped them and then after that, uh, once it was dry, took the clamps off, sanded the surface and I started with a 120 grit sandpaper and worked all the way to a 340 grit sandpaper. So it was a lot of sanding. It came out pretty smooth. Cindy's still got to put a finish on it, but I think it's gonna work well. So we haven't mounted this countertop yet because this weekend what we want to do, after all of Kevin's hard work, we're gonna be cutting a large hole in here for the sink. And Hopefully we'll get that done and be able to mount the sink and show you guys. So Kevin's measuring out now where the sink is going to go. It's going to be an undermount sink with a eighth inch reveal. Okay, so here it goes. Kevin's about to make the first cuts.
I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> So the four side cuts are done. Now he's gonna take a jigsaw and cut out these corners. some sanding to do. We're definitely gonna have to do quite a bit of sanding, but I think it looks pretty good. Gotta get all those saw blade marks out of there. Now that we have the opening cut for the sink, we are going to take this out, paint the bottom of the countertop with a mildew resistant paint, and we have to cut in a hole here for the faucet. If all goes well, we should be able to get both the sink and the faucet mounted today. And we'll show you that. Very dull blade. So I decided to clamp a board on here just so when I'm drilling through and I'm pushing down because this blade's so dull or the bit's so dull that I don't want to bust out the bottom of the countertop. So this is going to kind of help with that. Hopefully, should. That's it, we're through. It burned a little bit, but we're not gonna see it. It's gonna be tight, but it should work. I think it's gonna look good because that's the widest part. Yep. Yep. And you could probably move it forward a little bit, right? Or is that no, a, that's as forward as it's gonna go? Okay. And it still clears the edge here when you turn it. Very cool. Yep. So I'm just taping the edge here where we're going to be applying silicone right here. And when it's, when we put the sink on and the silicone squeezes out, I don't want it to get all over the wood here. It's a cardinal, by the way. I can't hardly see him, but he's up there on the wire singing. All right, so we're ready to install the sink. What we're gonna do first is clean this surface down really good. Make sure there's no sawdust on there. 
Then we're gonna take isopropyl alcohol and clean the edges of the sink really good, where we're gonna be applying uh, silicone. Uh, we'll do the silicone next. So then we'll flip this over onto here, line it up really good, looking at it from the bottom. And then we're gonna put these brackets on and clamp it really good. Then once we have it clamped down really good, we're gonna turn it over, wipe down any excess silicone, and pull off the tape. We'll take it back into the van and it's gonna need a cure for probably overnight. And then I think in the meantime, we can start installing the water pump, we'll see. So the sink is in and we just need to let it set up now for a little bit. We mounted it with a, about an eighth inch reveal. Maybe just a little more than that. I think we can go ahead and mount the water pump and maybe get this faucet in. First, Kevin's gonna go ahead and mount this countertop. And he already pre-drilled on top of all the framework. So now all he has to do is screw in under here. Well guys, this week has been crazy. Uh, we're dealing with the coronavirus outbreak here just like so many of you are. Kevin and I are doing fine. And I hope all of you are doing well also. We were able to continue working with the supplies that we have and we went ahead and installed this faucet. I think this faucet's gonna work good because it, I'm planning to have a Berkey right here and this will stretch up and be able to fill the Berkey. It has both a sprayer and a stream I'll show you underneath so you know how we set it up here. We don't have the tanks yet that are going to go under here. So we just have this one bucket for demonstration purposes. When we can get the tanks delivered, we'll be able to show you them and how we've, how we've hooked those up. But right now what we have is the pump, which is right back here pulls water out of the fresh water tank that we'll have into through this sediment filter and is regulated by this SureFlow accumulator. And then it flows up through the faucet. When it comes down through the drain, it goes through this hose here and into the gray water tank. It is on a switch. Even though it has an automatic shutoff, it's nice to have the switch so that we can ensure that it stays off if, if we want. So. Although some things may slow down on the bill because it's, it's harder to get supplies right now and we don't want to stress the delivery system with ordering non-essential items. Uh, we do have enough supplies we can keep going for a little while. One thing I do have to do is put a finish on this countertop. So I might can go ahead and start working on the design for that. 
Uh, we have flooring that we can put on the loft area and a number of other little projects. So hopefully that'll keep us busy. And by then, maybe this will pass. I guess all I can say is, is take care of yourselves, stay positive, and we're going to keep putting out videos and we hope all of you continue watching and if you're putting out videos yourself keep doing so and we just gotta hang in there and do everything we can to take care of ourselves and help in any way we can.